Okay, we are back for part two of this reaction to Supergirl season six, episode 14. Lena needs to collect some fresh wild herb for her herb spell. And who's there to bodyguard for her? None other than her wife, Cara Danvers, and William's there too, unfortunately. But let's see what Lena can do with some herbs. Her outfit is on point also. Look at them together. And William, you're just cock blocking and I want you to go away, please. <laughs> Lena was like, okay, all right. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, dear. You protect Lena. I got this. That outfit looks ridiculous on her. She, she looks so cute. It's, I mean, it's ridiculous in a cute way is what I meant to say, but like, please don't kill him. Look at her doing her freaking work, work bitch. Oh my God. Kill the guard, get the totem. I can't do it. Okay, so, sh whoa, something, like, happened and she got gained humanity while this person, like, got it taken away. Is she, like, siphoning humanity again? Is that the same situation as the courage totem thing? If you can make things worse. <laughs> Lena's like, I did an oops. The spell amplified the energy's potency, so the people already affected were made more callous and vicious. Yes, my spell backfired. Oops. <laughs> Kara's face. <laughs> Big oopsie there. Big one. And it drained the humanity from more people in the arena, and now those people are running wild in National City, and it Nixon already has two totems. She's probably close to getting a third. Science has gotten us nowhere. Your magic is our only option. Why was she looking at her like that? Did you see that? What the fuck? The totem had no gauntlet. What if the totem is the test? What if when I unleashed- She's doing her real big smarts, okay. It drained every drop of humanity from anyone standing in the blast radius. People who loved him and cared about him. All I could think was how sad they'd be if I took him away from them. I love humane Nixley. <laughs> I love every version of Nixley. She is like honestly wonderful. <sighs> she was overcome with so much emotion that she like almost flew off the frickin' into the into the gate, whatever that was, into the railing. And in the same way that National City is overrun by chaos right now, if we flood Nixley with emotions, it might be too much for her to handle. And, and, and it might force her to restore everyone's humanity and get rid of the total. Maybe. I don't know if that's risky. I feel like that's really risky. You're gonna take even more humanity from, they're just gonna start killing each other. Instead of just fighting. There to draw her out. We could capture the totems and Nixley. We can end this today. Can't do it. What? You won't do it. It's wrong. Lena, people need help now. This. Oh, moms are fighting. This is for the greater good. The greater good. Do you hear yourself right now? That's not what I meant. Um, William, have I shown you the kitchen yet? We have a new coffee machine that is literally out of this world. Oh my God, she was like, time to see ourselves out. William, you will not be cock blocking this conversation. Not again, not again. I know that you are still processing the fact that you can use magic. And I know that I have been pushing you out of your comfort zone, but that's only because I believe in you. And I, I'm, I'm terrified. She makes me feel powerless. What, and in what other, ugh, oh my God. In what other scenario is she ever like vulnerable like this? Only with Lena and with Alex, but Alex is her sister, so it's a whole thing. <sighs> Nixley's magic is unlike anything I've ever faced. He's more than just her magic. 
magic. She is cunning and manipulative and cruel. And who does that remind you of? Lex, you beat him before, and you will beat Nick Lee too, but not by doing whatever it takes to win. That is so, Lena is like the most humane person. She Did she get hit with the humanity a little bit? Because she's speaking some real humane truths right now. By doing the right thing. My mother hurt people with her magic. Nixley has caused so much pain. And I don't want to hurt anybody with my magic or deceit. The voice of reason, L literally, Kara's true north is Lena. You're right. We we can't cross lines in darkness. Maybe the light of day is just what we need. What does that mean? But Lena is going to amplify the totem's power, so that everyone who was within Nixley's blast radius at the arena will lose their humanity too. We believe that Nixley is being infused with the compassion that she's drained from her victims. With more people affected, we think she'll get overwhelmed and then use the totem again to restore everyone's humanity. They just said they weren't going to do that. They literally just said that they weren't going to do that. What the fuck? Okay, but doing so will cause even more chaos and destruction throughout the entire city. So we'll have to spread out and try our best to keep the city safe. Until when? Until Nixley's drawn out. If she comes out. She might not. Are they faking? Are they doing a fakey right now? Are they faking everybody out for some reason? Why would they do that? And the longer people are affected by the totem's power, the less they seem to care about anything. The time has come for full transparency. By shining a light on our actions, people will be able to make up their own opinions about our methods. If I agree to this, mm -hmm. I tell the story my way. Nixie's identification, her search for the totems, and the role of magic in all this. Those are my rules. Shut up, William. You're not making the rules here, sir. All right. Tell your story. You want it closer to the action. You got it. I'm still confused as to why Lena gave into the plan that she was just so vehemently against like two seconds ago. Is it because now that they're telling the story to the people, they think that they're somehow in the right to do what they were going to do? Confused? Oh my god. Is, are we supposed to feel better knowing that like most of them are ultimate fighters anyway? <laughs> I feel like that's why they like wove that storyline in there was so that we could be like, oh, you know, they're just fighting. They're fighters. They punch each other all the time. <laughs> what the hell? Natasha Romanoff in this bitch? I'll get here, Supergirl. The man didn't have this damn cough. I could snap away. Poverty. Disease. Hunger. You could do all that. We even, you know, you could do you could have done that before. You still can. Maybe you could actually do that. That'd be helpful. Thank you. I could save the snow leopards from extinction. <laughs> Girl, what the hell? You're safe now. Oh my god. Super moms. We won't let anyone hurt you. I will I will literally cry. They're gonna adopt this child. I will cry. I'm giving everyone their humanity back. Now. You can't! But I can't do. Little crazy eyes going there. Okay. Okay, crazy eyes. Hot. <laughs> she was like, mm, really? Supergirl, you got a hit on this with ship. I mean, their plan worked, but they did the exact thing that they said they weren't gonna do. I'm confused.
I mean, the plan worked, so I guess that's all that matters. I don't know. Hey, boss. Feeling better? No. Oh, shit, my totem. No! Why did you let me get rid of the totem? Fly down. Get it. Yes, Kara's got it. I was like, she's gonna fly through and catch it like the absolute queen that she is. It's time we get a head start on Nixley. Any ideas how? I still have some of those ionized particles left. They're still active. Each of the totems has the same energy signal, so we could use the particles to track another one. There's just enough left for one, though. Okay. Which one do we choose? Which one? Can it be the love totem? So, which one do we go after? The super friends in a race to get powerful totems. Magic? <laughs> Our readers are gonna eat this up. All right, Andrea, oh, calm down. I love it. And now for your follow-up. This, this tower the super friends work out of. Where is it? And you must reveal who among the super friends has the magical power to fight her. No. At least he's, okay, at least he's keeping his word. They allowed him to write the article just so that he you would keep his word on the other stuff. I'm sorry, did you say no? So I'm going to cover the story my way. Not theirs and not yours. You don't get to tell me how to do my job anymore. Now. I mean, she's your boss, so you're a little dumb. You can either take the stories I give you or I am sure the Daily Planet would be interested in writing them. Well, how did they get that photo? <laughs> and they still they still do a print magazine? Hey. Hey. How's William's article? That's fantastic. I saw Jean reading it earlier on, but I couldn't tell if he liked it. Oh, yeah, he likes to play it close to the vest. They're having a date night. They're having a date night. <laughs> it's out there now. It's no turning back. Others will accuse us of abusing our power, but at least we can debate about it in the open. You know, I wanted to thank you for helping me get outside my comfort zone and embrace my magic. You could get outside your comfort zone even more, Alina, if you really wanted to. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And thank you for reminding okay. me that it's important to have clear boundaries with friends. Oh, that's not. We don't want that. <laughs> we don't want boundaries with friends. We want less boundaries here. <laughs> Pot sticker me. No, check up. I don't want to use my fingers. I'm going to. Oh, that's classy. Mm-hmm. You know me. <laughs> I am here for you. Oh my god, they're so cute. And also, they're about to take this child into their home. Esme. Hi. Esme, this is Alex Danvers, my girlfriend. Hello, Miss Danvers. <laughs> they're gonna live with, she's gonna live with them. Maybe excuse us for a minute. She's like, um, we gotta take in this child. They're giving her back? Mm -hmm. They said she's not a right fit for their family. Oh, but she was a right fit when they forced her to confront armed attackers. I told them even though she's an alien with powers, it was their job to protect her. Yeah, what I'm the hell? Good for you, babe. It's only a matter of time till you get a new foster family. One that can help you understand your power. It's okay if the next one doesn't work out either. You're never going to have a real one. Ah. They're gonna have a moment where they like, you know, they're gonna have like a synergy moment where they're gonna be like, uh, they're not gonna say anything. They're just gonna be like, we well, have to take, take in this child. Don't touch me. <laughs> Who said you could touch me? I can't even get over how cute that was. I'm dead. I'm so dead. They like actually are gonna take her in, right? That was what was being implied. This hope totem out of the Hague. Losing the humanity totem was a blip in the road. 
it will be mine again, no matter what I have to do to get them. Every episode that we've seen, like, in the past couple episodes has ended the exact same way, and it's kind of like, eh, could you end it another way? It's all ending with, like, Nixley being like, oh, I'm gonna get the totems. We've already seen that, like, four times. Okay, a good episode. I liked that one. Um, definitely made me super emotional, the fact that Alex and Kelly are gonna take in this little girl. I think that's what they were implying with that look. I knew they were gonna have a look, a moment, of energy being passed where they were like gonna agree on it without having to say anything. I think that's what ha what happened. I think like that's what happened, right? The rest of the episode was just like basic boilerplate, like getting the totems or tracking them down, you know? The William story is kind of interesting. I really, really liked the Lena storyline in this episode. I think she's going to do great things with her magic and she already has little confused that they like went back on their what they had the whole conversation about the whole hope speech conversation between lena and Kara, and then they were like now nah, we're gonna do it anyway <laughs> so whatever i mean i guess it changed things when they decided to let william write the story because you know they weren't operating like without consequences or we, without people knowing i guess it makes sense but also like I, I don't know it worked it worked what they did so it's fine i guess I'm gonna need some more super corp scenes in the next couple episodes. This They've been feeding me, they've been feeding us lately with these past two episodes having like lots of super corp. So I'm absolutely thrilled with that. And yeah, the rest of the episode was just really good. I have, I really have no complaints. Guess we're just gonna be trekking on, finding the rest of the totems. But in the meantime, thank you guys so much for watching. Please follow me on Twitter. Subscribe to this channel for more and check out my Patreon and I will see you guys back here very soon for Supergirl episode 15.